Oh, hi Mark! I didn't notice you there. As you see, I am planning for my newest wrestling game that will shock the nations across the world. It's going to be a very complex and entertaining video, the one that you're going to see. So sit down and enjoy this beautiful journey into the uh, universe of my creation. Okay, boys, my Good day, everyone, and welcome to this devlog. The very first thing that I'm going to do right now is to apologize, both for the very corny intro that you just watched, and also for the probably just as corny video title that I'm going to give to this devlog, because, uh, you know, I just wanted to give it something eye-catching, even though what you're watching right now might not match your expectations. Regardless, let's get down to business. Trauma Pro Wrestling is the direct successor of another game that I have released a couple of months ago, maybe even more by now, uh, called Screw Fracture. Screw Fracture is like uh, this uh, 3D fighting game with uh, tank controls, a variety of game modes and a bunch of uh, stuff that uh, I thought was uh, interesting enough to put in a game. School Fracture itself is the evolution of another game that I worked on a few years ago called Wrestling is Real. Uh, the, the big thing with Wrestling is Real is uh, that uh, despite being called that, uh, it's not actually a wrestling game. It's more like a boxing game. You know, you can punch and uh, you can kick, which uh, usually is not allowed in boxing, but uh, yeah, not very uh, wrestling-like. So with Trauma Pro Wrestling, that's what I want to fix. I want to make something more proper, in a way. I'm sorry if the aesthetics of the game look a bit bare right now. I promise you that uh, by the time the game comes out, it's going to look a lot fancier. For example, the background right here will be replaced by uh, some sort of video that uh, probably will depict uh, uh, a match or something like that. Anyway, uh, this is the screen, as you can see, for uh, the exhibition matches. We've got uh, five game modes tested and uh, fully functioning. You can set the difficulty of the AI and uh, you can do all other stuff that uh, is uh, commonplace in uh, other wrestling games. For example, you can set if you have uh, robot breaks or not. You can have uh, cage matches. You can choose the size of the ring or if they are, if uh, the ropes are electrified or not. There is uh, six unique arenas to choose from. Five which have been uh, created uh, just for this game and one that is uh, imported from uh, Cool Fracture but with some modifications. Right now you can't uh, read this but uh, there is uh, a text in full white here asking you how many objects you want and uh, at which frequency you want them to appear. These are like uh, objects uh, that uh, will spawn in the middle of the ring that will grant you a bonus or a malus depending on where the arrow goes, you know, see, arrow up, bonus, arrow down, malus. The game is going to feature 25 characters as opposed to the 21 which were present uh, in School Fracture. The sprites for these characters haven't been uh, drawn yet, but uh, in the next devlog they probably will be there by that point. There is also a slot for uh, a created character which uh, isn't selectable right now because uh, the character editor hasn't been uh, finished yet. But uh, again, by the next devlog you will probably see it. It's going to be an improved version from uh, another game that I've made called Third Days to be the Best, which has a gameplay similar to the one of uh, School Fracture, but uh, more RPG-oriented and with uh, a tinge of horror uh, to it. The sprites are drawn by uh, Tostbot, which uh, is the artist, of course, who worked us on School Fracture. These are all uh, imported from that game and uh, 
they look real fancy I really really like them so if you want to support the artist remember that there is a link in the description to her Instagram anyway let's uh, start a match so that I can illustrate all the game mechanics all right uh, as you can see if you have uh, any familiarity with school fracture you might notice that uh, there is no tank controls anymore the players are locked against each other and they will move uh, left and right depending on uh, you know where you click the arrows or the controller buttons or whatever it is and uh, you may also notice the fact that there is a referee in this match which uh, will do exactly what you would expect him to do each action that was uh, present in uh, school fracture has been given uh, more animations to make the characters feel more lively oh you can uh, hit the referee by the way I didn't mention that of course when uh, you hit the referee is going to not be able to give you a free count for a while uh, new actions have been uh, implemented this one which is uh, uh, it should look like a, a lariat but uh, it really doesn't actually punches are all connected to a single button now as opposed to being uh, you know to having uh, separate ones for left and right as it used to be in school fracture uh, the camera settings are very similar, they've been uh, slightly improved. Of course there is no first person view because this is the local multiplayer but uh, when you're going to play single player there is also going to be an option for that. You may have noticed that the life bar has three colors, one that is red, one that is pink and one that is white. And uh, when the life bar drops to pink, which uh, well, it might take a while because uh, I'm using a character with low attack and uh, the, everything hasn't been fully balanced yet but yeah, when it drops to that point uh, you will be able to pin your opponent when he is down and when the life bar reaches the red part that means that uh, your pinning attempt will always be successful so that uh, the matches don't last forever as you can see when uh, someone gets knocked down they will automatically give you a kick to create some distance so that you cannot spam pinning attempts over and over The match uh, mode that I'm working uh, with right now is the last man standing which doesn't work like your traditional last man standing because uh, the characters aren't scripted to stay down for that long uh, instead uh, you will get a point for each time that you knock someone down and when you reach 10 points that means that you win the match uh, right now gameplay wise there isn't really much more to say about Trauma Pro Wrestling as you can see here, there is uh, an option to edit your character, which will be again presented uh, in the next devlog. There is a career mode, which uh, is close to being done, but still not properly presentable. And uh, here is a booker mode, which will be... I don't know how WWE games do it right now, it's, it's going to be something like a WWE Universe mode, I guess, where you can uh, make the matches and see the results it's going to be less of a sandbox thing and more of a managerial thing where you have to keep track of all the budgets all the contracts and stuff like that uh, it's very complex to code so I hope that I have something presentable by the end of uh, next month yeah there isn't really much else to add right now I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, that the Trauma Pro Wrestling seems interesting to you. My next video will probably be a lot more interesting than the one that you're watching right now. So be sure to be on the lookout. And uh, until then, ciao ciao!